Hello, and welcome to the tower. Another mission by uh, Lady Rowena. Uh, it doesn't have a briefing, uh, so I will do my usual notepad thing and read it out. It has come to my knowledge that Lord Witherdale has recently acquired a small but highly valuable collection of ancient jewels. The manor is well guarded and almost inaccessible except from a tower which is connected to the back of the manor. An old guardian still lives in the tower, but it won't be hard to get rid of him, or even to sneak through without being seen. I must be careful though, the tower is situated in a small courtyard, and strangers are not welcome there, especially at night. There's not much time left. The guardian will soon be dismissed and the tower will be under restoration. I must act as quickly as possible. Tonight seems just perfect. Time to go. So, the tower. This is a much smaller mission um, than the last two that we played, especially uh, well, the last three mission campaign, which took me uh, what, 13 episodes and probably about 16 hours. Hopefully this, this one, I expect, will probably be one or two episodes, and I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try to do this one stealthily without knocking anybody out, hopefully without being seen or heard, at least not being hope. Maybe being seen or heard, at least not, hopefully not being chased, right? Um, maybe they search and they don't find me, that's okay. I'm not going to play proper ghost rolls. Um, so here we go. Yeah, okay, there's only two differences in difficulty. Hard, it's the same as expert. Well, it's still going hard. Lord Witherdale has recently acquired a valuable collection of ancient jewels. Find a way to break into the room where they're kept and make them yours. It is rumoured that Lord Balakin, the former owner of the manor, possessed a fabulous golden skull that couldn't be located after his death. Discover where it is and take it. This doesn't seem to be a very rich quarter, but as you hear, it can't, be on, it can't hurt to be on the lookout for some additional valuables. Gather at least a total of 3,200 loot. There's no need to leave a trail of innocent blood behind you, so don't kill anyone. When all your objectives have been completed, return to the place where you started. As my normal, it's 2550 instead of 3200. Uh, and don't kill innocents or unarmed people. Well, that's interesting because that's normally the hard level objective. I might actually go on normal. Again, I don't plan to kill anyone. But I also don't necessarily want to scout every single corner because that takes a long time. And uh, I, I'm certainly looking for a shorter mission this time around than the last few. Well, let's get started. Oh, I smell trouble. I'm gonna count to three, so you better come out. What? One, two, you. I'm not kidding. Come on out. What's going on over there? Come on out, and I promise I'll take care of you quickly. You know you can't hide forever. Okay, calm down. You won't stay hidden for long, Taffer. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> Lots of uh, noises, things happening. Being broken. Oh, he had a. I should have been paying attention. He had a purse on him. I should have uh, nicked it. I'll be back, I expect. Uh, steps here, a little alcove. Does he have a purse? No. When comes Mr. Green Guard back. What's my plan of attack? There's a nice open window there with beams. I do. Oh, there's an yeah, open window right above me, in fact. Mate. I'll take that. Is that. There is no sill on the side, is there? <laughs> yeah, there is. Is it wood? I can't. I can't tell. The question is, can I get a rope arrow in there? Four broadheads, two water arrows, one rope arrow. Well, I'll try it. If it goes clank, I will reload. What the hell is going because it's broken. Guys, it's just so hard to see what's wood and what's not. 
that seal is obviously wood. No, it's not. It's not wood at all. It's just orange because of the thing. Damn it. Alright. What am I going to go? What's my plan of attack here? This this ledge is a little... Uh, why aren't I standing on this ledge properly? I'm sitting on the edge of it. I hear you there. Come on out. There's no one there. Is this a dead end? This is a dead end. Ah, oh dear. I just woke everybody up, did I? Well, I mean, if he comes looking for me. I'll eventually find you, so why don't you just come on out? Just wait till I find you. <laughs> They've all gone up there on the ledge. All right. Well, that's uh, one way to be stealthy. Not really the best way. I'm also having trouble pathfinding on the ledge right now, but they can actually get up there. It's not entirely safe. Alright. Let's try that again. So the, the angle of this ledge is weird, so I didn't actually stand on it properly, so I'm trying to climb up onto it. Which is what got me into that trouble in the first place. Open window there. No wood for the rope the rope arrow. Open window above me, is that overhang wood? Is that a wooden texture? Might be. Well, again, I'll save and try it. If it's not, I'll learn. Oops. I think I actually missed it with the arrow. That's not wood. Yeah, not, not my favourite bit of uh, Thief is trying to, on fan missions with different textures, trying to find out what's wooden and what's not. There's beams of wooden, but there's, I think, I think, but uh, yeah, they look like wood, but that sill, probably not, right? Maybe we should try and go in there behind him. Again, too many damn rats around here. Hey, Is someone there. What's going on? You're, uh, you're quite right. There's way too many damn rats around here. All right, there was enough, just enough time to get past. Not ideal. How far down this way does the green guard come? All the way. Nope. Stops there. Stands and watches for a bit. Yeah, somebody's really noisy there. So I think one of the constraints of this mission is, is the uh, space it's in. It's a very small space. Oh man. Don't mind me. I was gonna say, is there nothing around there? There is. There's a hatch. But let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am a noisy one. Luckily, I didn't wake this sleeping lady. Boring, boring, boring. I'm afraid that I've turned into an old busybody. I have nothing to do all day long, so my only pastime is to sit on the balcony watching people come and go. Here's a beautiful Melina, waiting for her sweetheart. That's funny, a guard's wife who has a thief as a lover. But honestly, how can one blame her? Blaine is a big fat pig, and Alf is... Well, let's just say he's a very handsome man. Ah, if only I could be young again. I would change everything. You can live only once after all. Here I am instead, married to a man who always neglected me. Him and his stupid hobbies. The barracks first, then paintings, and now ancient jewels. 
Not to mention his obsession with restoring the tower. Why can't he just leave the old guardian alone? The poor man lives there all alone without asking for anything or troubling anyone. I have to admit that Ruskin is a little weird, though. They say that he lost his wits after his lord's death. By the way, rumour has it that Lord Balakin's corpse disappeared during the wake. Of course it can't be true, but since Lord Balakin was a rather mysterious character, people like to dream up things about him. Anyway, I've not seen Ruskin for a couple of days. I wonder if he's well. Alright, I will take that. Alright, there's a window, which I could jump to the ledge, but no point, I don't think given the bars on it. Nowhere else to go. No more up than I can take care. So my problem now is I'm gonna drop back down there and make another ton of noise. There is no point in going there on that. Uh, all right, they've calmed down. I'll wait till the guard goes around the corner. There's a lot less darkness on this corner than there was in the other one. So if I do make too much noise... All right, it was silent. Lucky for me. So the next problem is I, need, I want to try that door where she is. But... How am I going to do that without knocking her out? She comes down this passageway, stands for a while. I could drop down into that patch of shadow without making noise, then get over to the door. Is it locked? I don't know. But, well, there's, there's shadow here, okay, so I can mantle up here out of, out of harm's way, I suppose, if need be. Well, out of some harm's way. I would like a better escape route to escape in case things go all pear shaped or if I have to pick locks or. Well, let's give it a go. Worst that happens is I'll make lots of noise. Huh? Uh, I don't like this. They're locked. Well, I didn't make a lot of noise, I both locked and needed keys. Which is not very fair. I wouldn't have tried at all if uh Whoops. I wouldn't have tried going in there at all if I'd known that it was uh gonna need keys. Hey, what's been going on here? Nothing. What's that switch to? Just wait till I find He's just doing his patrol, right? Yeah. Alright, let's press the switch. Press the button. Button doesn't doesn't press, okay. Door doesn't open. Well this wait. Why are you coming up here, guard? No, second thief, dude. Oh you've got a key. Oh, he saw something. He does have a key. I need to pickpocket. I'm gonna make you bleed. No, you're not. Well, they saw me, but I got a key to Alf's apartment. Who's Alf? One of the thieves, I guess. Maybe that's the key to one of the doors down there. I don't know. However, this is clearly my uh, hidey hole. Um, This is the place where I can hide. 
and knock it. Knock it killed by the guards. So I can wait here for them to all calm down there. As I said, I'm definitely not being ghostly here, but so far they haven't... Well, I've been caught once. Someone saw me in the tower there. This ledge here is frustrating because it's... For some reason it's too narrow and I can't stand on it properly. After mantling up. And because I can't stand on it properly, I can't crouch before dropping down here. Because if you crouch before dropping, it's, uh, it's quiet. Unless it's a really high distance. So because I couldn't crouch properly, I meant I couldn't land quietly. It also means mantling can be problem problematic. We can't crouch, but I gotta wobble. So I keep aggravating these people by making inadvertent movement noises. On the plus side, I've opened uh, Al's apartment down there, so I can get in there later on. Maybe I should just start knocking people out. It would save me a lot of time. Oh, you can see, you can see me, can you? Damn it. I know you're out there. Hide for long. Damn, where did he go? All right, I might maybe change the plan. I've definitely failed with these guys. I know this one's up. Do I have a flash bomb? No, I've had a flashbang, flash bomb, thing, whatever. Then that would be a good opportunity for me to use it and um, knock them out. But I just have to wait for them to calm down. Actually, I don't. I was going to say, I could just climb the uh, ladder there, but I can't climb the ladder. Dear, dear. So I do have to kind of wait. All right. Stop fooling around. We're going around to the uh, outside there. Alright, I've got a water arrow. Let's uh, have two. You won't stay hidden for long, Tapper. Staying hidden is kind of the point. Let's make it easier. Just wait till I find you. What's going on? Who's done this? I don't know what he's reacting to. Maybe the cut banner. I'll find you. Believe me, I will. Right, so I can't unlock that. Key, does he? I can I can hide for quite a long time. He'll still come and go, but he'll handily close the door behind himself now. God, you guys, give up already. Right, they've given up their immediate chase, but they're still on alert. Were you standing in the doorway here? Is that your, is that your normal spot? Because you're going to block your mate from getting through, aren't you? No, he walks through you. No honor among thieves and no collision detection either. What happens if I close the door in your face, huh? Oh god, he is so on edge. Look at that. You won't stay hidden for long, Taffer. Come on. He's finished. I think I'm gonna You know one the slightest hint of me and he's immediately racing to find me. 
not like, oh, what was that? It's like, you're dead, Taffer. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? There's a guard. How, did I, how am I supposed to get into that window? Rope arrow certainly won't do it. I wonder if that, I wonder if that door opens or if it's locked. Right, so you should be able to get into Elf's apartment down there now. Wait for the screen guard to to go away. Oh, I should have gone then. Right, so I'm in my patch of darkness here. I can drop down relatively quietly. As long as I stay crouched. This little edge, this is uh, angled edge, makes it a little harder to to navigate, but not not impossible. Ah, the guards coming, you see. All right. So my new message from Melina, Alf. I'm afraid I lost my wedding ring during our last meeting in Lord Witherdale's basement. For God's sake, try to find it. I just don't have the courage to confess to my husband that I've lost it. You know what a violent man Blaine is. He could kill me if he suspected something about us. Love, Melina. P.S. Blaine is out of town again tonight. I know that you've got some work to do, but maybe when you're finished we could pass some time together. I will wait for you for a while after midnight. Ooh, Alpha has a key as well. Let's stay quiet here. What have we got? Ooh. There's a switch there. Oh, there's a secret as well. And a mandolin. Well, I'll take the secret. Look how cunningly I balanced that sheet of paper on top of the bottle. Money, money, a key, Lord of the Dale's basement, and a note. Alf, I want the damn door unlocked and that tougher out of my property before dawn. Here are 100 coppers. You will get the rest when the work's done. Lord of the Dale. So, as uh, I've got two moss arrows, that might be a good spot for one. There's a place I can go up there. There's also a place I can go up here. Sort of. Inconveniently. Alright. What have you got hiding in your chest? A gas mine, okay. Well, if I'm sticking by my no knockout rules, I won't be using it, but who knows, I might. Might just make use of it. This affair with Melina has become a bit too problematic. I think that her husband suspects something. Not that I'm afraid of him, of course. Blaine is a guard, after all, and might be able to cause me trouble. Besides that, the woman is getting more and more suffocating. The other day she said, Alf, we should go away together so that we wouldn't have to hide our love anymore. Away together? I mean, well, it was fun. She was very nice for a fling, but what the heck? What's she thinking? No, no, I'd better get rid of her before it's too late. Oh, I have to remember to search for that ring. If I remember correctly, it's a gold ring with a gem. I'll get good money from Hank for it. Oh, Alf. You bastard. You could at least give her a ring back. Great, so I can't get back on the ladder, so let's hope this is a nice quiet drop. Right, I don't hear anybody coming desperately to investigate it. So I think I'm all right. It was quiet. Well, not that it was quiet, but the door blocked the sound. So let's try getting up here quietly. Okay. Reach out from here to pick the lock? I can. Does that open the screeching in front of me? That would be convenient. So 
Where are we now? We're in some kind of ventilation shaft. Nice. Uh, we could go up high or we could go up medium. Or we could go down here. Yeah. Options all over the place. Hello. Who are you? Maybe your diary will tell me. Conditioned air? What the hell is that? Those mechanist technologies were ingenious at times, but as far as I know, this system never worked, and I doubt it ever will. Oh well, I shouldn't complain. At least I got this maintenance job. I have practically nothing to do but to keep the pipes clean and to oil the mechanism. The only thing I'm worried about is that one can reach almost every apartment of the building through the shafts. If anything happens, they will consider me responsible. The guy on the ground floor looks suspicious. I don't like him at all. Maybe I should install an extra lock on the grate there. By the way, I'm still cu curious about what they are doing up there in the attic. There are comings and goings all day and night. But I'd better mind my own business. They did give me the job after all. Minding your own business is a sensible plan of action, sir. Hello? Who's there? Oh dear. You... You gonna see me on Help! Help! Alright. <coughs> Put my roll, but uh, I'll have to do. Is that metal? God, that is metal. One tiny step, and uh, he wakes from sleep instantly. Okay, stop tapping with me, please. Okay, okay, that was because that was a mistake. Sleepy. Yeah, it's not like it was a. Whoops. Your objectives all of a sudden. Uh, this woman is pregnant. Don't hurt her in any way. <coughs> all right, I wasn't planning to, but that's. Uh... So I'm not even allowed to knock her out. How do I get over there without making noise? By climbing on the ladder. Okay. How do I get off the ladder? Who's there? By jumping on the floor. Did you say something? <laughs> okay, she's. Well, doesn't seem like anything now. She's not very alert. <laughs> I cut my hair yesterday and sold it to the hairdresser. My beautiful blonde tresses are gone to make a wig for some noble woman. But who cares? I'm not worried about it, what anyone thinks now that Martin isn't with me anymore. Eight months have passed since I received the notice of his death over there in Miramar, and I still can't believe that I will never see my beloved Martin again. Miramar, what a sweet name for a place of death. Where is it? It's not even marked on the maps. I have no tomb at which I can pray or where I can leave flowers. Why does this war have to take away our men? Why send them to kill people in a country which none of us have ever heard of? Why are we fighting those people? What have they done to us? Because of this war, our child will never know his father. I don't want to lose heart, if for no other reason than my baby who will be soon born. I still manage to go on with my part-time work. And my kitchen garden is so fruitful that sometimes I have enough to sell some to the neighbours. What really troubles me is the house. We bought this house, Martin and I, with such enthusiasm. It's small, but it's perfect for us. We've been so happy here. We had just finished paying the last instalment when Martin had to leave. The notary, Mr. Birchall, should have turned over the title deed for the property. But he never did. First he said that we had to wait for Martin's return, then... When he heard about Martin's death, he started saying that two or three payments had been missed, and unless I had proof they'd been made, he couldn't give me the deed. The bastard. As if he didn't know that I didn't have any receipts, because there was only a verbal agreement between him and Martin. I went to beg him one last time a few months ago, and he suggested that we could make a deal if I was nice to him. Dirty pig. There's no way that I can pay all that money again, which means that I can be thrown out of my house at any moment. Oh lord, I don't even want to think about it, and yet there's nothing I can do. Where will we go, me and my baby? Well, that's a shame. I should just hang out in the kitchen. This corner. 
Louise's key. Someone there? No, no, no. Just your imagination. All right, that's that door at the foot of, well, at the foot at the corner of the place. Right, you have so much produce, you won't mind if I borrow a little, I'm sure. Is that a door that opens? No. I just need to wait for it to turn again. Come on, turn to the fire. It's nice and warm. What? You, you stay away from me. Huh? Help! Oh, all right. Bye. <laughs> if only it just look the other way. I'm going. I'm gone. Uh, okay. Next up. Uh, bloody letters. Sometimes I do wonder whether, you know, whether it's technically possible to ghost any missions at all without endless quick saving loading with the all the fuss that ladders and things are. And all the noise you accidentally make trying to get on them or off them. Well. Now is this a tile floor? Well there's a metal bit on there. Is this a tile floor? I don't know until I make noise, that's the problem. Yes, it's a tile floor. Did you hear me? Or are you just patrolling? I think it's just patrolling. Alright. A non door. Alright, so that's the guy that sits at the window there. How am I gonna get past him? Yeah, I can't even get past here. I can stick my repair on the roof and rip up. Well, that seems silly. So he comes into this room, he's right in this room on the carpet. I could maybe knock him out. It's kind of against my plan. Here's a stance by the window. And he goes up the hallway. Oh, he goes up there. No. Let's just get through it all. So it's dark here. Alright, so that's, that's the answer. Do I use one of my two moss arrows? I think I do on this floor, so bloody noisy. Oh, he's got a big club, look at that. There's no darkness here. Bollocks. Aha, I'll try this plan, right? It's a silly plan. It won't work at all. I'm not playing games here. Where'd you come ow, from? ow, 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 ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. This is not good. Uh. Yeah, not good at all. So. Damn it, it's too noisy in there. Oh, it's super right here. Alright. Suspension of rules, it's gonna be much too hard for me to run back and forth without waking this fellow up. So when he comes forward again, I'm gonna let's go <coughs> knock him out. 
Sorry about uh, Blaine. Ah, it's Blaine. It's you. Hmm. Don't kill any unarmed people, huh? Ha! My suspicions were right then. Almost midnight and she isn't home yet. I wonder what excuse she'll have this time. She's not fooling me anymore. Melina will get what she, de what she deserves, I swear. Oh dear. Well, unfortunately, Melina has... Uh, both the men are... Uh, not happy with her. Oh, it's a ring. Is that is that his ring or her ring? Mm. All right, Blaine. I'll just throw you off. I'll leave you. But uh, Melina, you better watch out. Unfortunately, I can't. Let you know in any way. Yeah, now you're metal fall. <laughs> Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Yeah, that goes, that's gonna need a key. Alright, let's get up the next lever. Next level. I can't even speak today. No surprise they can't creep around quietly, that's that's just typical for me. But not being able to speak is more unusual. How do I get here? Can I I don't think I can go through these windows to it. Can I? Nope, I just jump up and down and make noise trying. Alright, and there's a door I can't pick the look of. It's not Al's apartment, or definitely not Lord Witherdale's basement. Uh, and that's a nuisance. Because I'm going to have to drop down onto a metal floor, or no, maybe we can drop onto the ladder. Let's try that. Okay. <coughs> sort of okay. Not really okay. Uh, I was standing on the ladder and not attached to the ladder. Oh well, let's eat this fruit. Hearing, oh yeah, somebody heard me. God, everybody's riled up again. Of darkness. <laughs> oh, that air is getting so stuffy. Right, so she's outside the door now. Yeah, that's coming back. It's a bad timing. Yeah. I have to wait till next time. So she's walking away. She's gonna go up to the left. The guard's standing there. Okay, she's on the move. He's on the move. Apart from my not getting on the ledge properly. Not mad link. It's just is this the basement? Yep. I don't know where Lord Witherdale's basement is, but that's not it. Just wait till I find you. 
Is that Lord of the Dale's basement? Yeah, my life would be so much easier if I did uh, just not pull these people out. Last chance. Step out here. Oh. Like that, he was going to find me anyway. Larry. Uh, suspicious. Aren't you suspicious? Right. Hey, who are you? Nobody. Grin while you can, Taffer. You're ours now. I'm gonna rob you of your organ, Taffer boy. He's running on the spot. Let's be stuck somewhere. Well, that means he still is coming for me. You've made enemies, Taffer. Count your hours. I'm counting them. Too many, Zerva. Come on out, and I promise I'll take care of you quickly. Lost them. All right. Just nothing. The mouse is just gonna be. Save me so much pain. I'm making way too much inadvertent noise, so... Well, if I'm trying to sneak... No, this too crowded an area and too many people wandering around and... <sighs> I don't have the patience for it. There we are again, not... Not on here properly. All right. Sometimes I mantle properly on there, sometimes I don't. <clears throat> Rory. Alf yourself. Alf himself. Alrighty. That definitely gives me more freedom to move. Who's that that I hear? Oh, it's the lady down there. I just looked at some odd sound propagation. Possibly somebody up there. Okay, so where is? Well, here's the here's the notary. Hmm. This is actually an openable door, despite not having a doorknob. Okay, I thought it was just a picture. More fool me. Maybe I can find the deed to that uh, to that flat. I'm gonna need a key for his filing cabinet. That's just a notary. Mr. Birchall, I have enough of, I have had enough of your stalling and I don't intend to wait any longer. As a notary, you should be acting in my best interest. That's what you're being paid for. After Lord Bellican's death, I was the top bidder for his property at auction, and now it all belongs to me, the blasted tower included. It's true that I agreed to keep Ruskin on for a while in deference to his long service to Lord Bellican. I know that he was in his, in his employ for almost his entire life. But three years have passed, and I don't need a custodian anymore. To be precise, I never needed one. In addition, the tower is on the verge of collapsing and needs to be restored. In short, I want to take possession of all that is mine. I swear I never saw such an impudent retainer in my whole life. I cut off the ele electricity to the tower, hoping to force the old madman out, and he had the audacity to wall off all the passageways from the mass of the tower. Ah, uh, but it won't last for long. 
Since the deadline has passed without you being able to evict that lousy tuffer, you are hereby relieved of your commission. I will solve the issue my way, Lord Witherdale. Yeah, we're going to need a key for his lift as well, okay. Alrighty then. Is that Lord of the Dales basement? Nope. It's also locked with the key, okay. Your idea. How far this way do you come, man? I don't know if you can see me around the corner as I'm opening doors. Not that it matters. <laughs> no, you shouldn't be able to. Okay. Well, I would say, well, while I'm opening doors, perhaps I'm not going to be opening doors at all. Right, uh, what now? I seem to have run out of doors that. Don't need keys. Uh, I can try something here. Which probably won't work. Try rip out of there. Can I make that leap? I can. I get my rope arrow back. I can't. Right, so I can jump across to those windows. Don't know where this guard I'm hearing is. Or I can come in here. To the next floor of the tower. Seems a good start. So the barred window I saw before. Another door. I probably can't open. With the switch I can't press. I guess because the electricity is off, the switch will not work. Is this another hatch that doesn't open? Okay. Quiet, Garrett. Is there anyone in here? I'm wondering where the guard I was hearing is hanging out. Oh well, if he's in here, I could just. Ah, uh, guard won't be in here. It's too shabby a place. It might be up here, of course. On the roof. Yep. He's on the roof. And I'm not, because. Can't get up. <laughs> oh, he's on that roof. So I'm safe from him over here, unless he's, well, he's an archer, isn't he? Mm. So any shadows on his roof? There's one in the corner, perhaps. I'll try to make the jump once he goes inside. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, there's darkness here. All right. Only did I uh, not have to leap and make a lot of noise. I landed in a patch of darkness. But I still uh, will... rescind my earlier promise of not knocking people out. My intention is, my full intention is to knock him out. Yeah, he's got a guard room there. I'm sure it's got something valuable in it. <coughs> I'm 
Why don't you turn around and go back inside, mate? It's just like that. Oh, we have two pockets to pick. Unusual Judd. You heard another guard. Asleep. I can hit the banner, but I can't kill it. Alright, anything hiding on your rafter, so I don't have my rope arrow. Can I get my rope arrow back? I have to go all the way down. Well, let's start, start down here. I don't think he's sleeping very just softly, do you? I think he needs to be woken up. And put back to sleep again. And his banner cut open. I imagine he would have woken up if I tried to pick this lock. Right beside us. He is. Alrighty. A key. Alright, there's another door we've got opened. Well, that's good, because with that door open, I can get my repair back. At the expense of alerting uh, a lady there on the street. Ouch! Carrot. Climb. Now I've got my repair back, I can see if there's anything on these rafters. Who knows? Probably not. Uh, what do you know? There is. Can I get on the rafters? Sorta. Let's go, let's go much closer. To the middle. Maybe I'll pick the lock from here then. Yep. Alright, two secrets out of who knows how many. I'm suspicious about this banner because I can't drop it down, but you know. Whatever. Suspicious about this ladder that goes nowhere. Alright, uh, now I have a way over to the top of the tower, in fact. What's up there? Is that paper a note that I didn't read? On the floor below, it is. I should go back and read that. Yeah, I'll go back and read that. <laughs> so, I can run across that gap, right? Foolish Taffo. I hurt. How do I get back up there? It's a long way around, I guess. Maybe I can get that. Maybe I can reach it from here. There did seem to be a stairway going up. I can't properly stand on. Is this stone? Oh, who's this? Dead? New objectives. What's happened here? It might be worthwhile investigating a bit. Definitely dead. Blood everywhere. I can't get down to the floor below. I can probably get further up. Ruskin. Master, after a long search, I have finally found her. I'm sure that you will not be disappointed this time. Leonora is her name. She is tall, blonde, beautiful as a fairy, and she has the bearing of a princess. 
She belongs to one of the noblest families in town, and she surely is worthy of becoming your wife. I am confident I'll be able to bring her to you before dawn. She is here, master. I took her to the dungeon. She will be ready and at your disposal within a few days. All is ready, my lord. The time has come. She has asked to meet you. My task will soon be fulfilled, and then finally I will have some rest. Master, I humbly beg for your forgiveness. Unfortunately, it happened again. The woman has rebelled. I ask you to take into consideration that she is a noble, and so has a bold and proud temperament. I know that you are particularly pleased with this young woman, therefore I'll let you decide her fate. I will deliver to you the key to her cell. Her life is in your hands. I had pity on her, but this settled my fate. I feel that life is rapidly abandoning me. Farewell, master. Your forever faithful servant, Ruskin. Another new objective. Uh, Alright, when all your objectives have been complete, it's cancelled. And uh, a noble woman named Leonora is being held prisoner somewhere in the basement. Set her free and take her with you when you will leave the area. You could be richly re rewarded for her safe return. Tower shaft key, okay. Oh, good, I can get up and down the tower that way. Do you have anything else here? Hiding behind the painting. Whoops. The shaft is clearly where the attacker or attackers went. Well, I was going to say, following the blood, but maybe that's just where Ruskin was. I thought there was a trail of blood to the door, but apparently not. Alright, well, let's try the roof. Okay, I'm gonna need a key for the roof. That's not the tower shaft key, is it? Yep. Roof key needed. Okay, well let's go down to the floor below and check on that note. That uh, the one that I was missing. I just totally failed to notice the existence of. Help! I'm being held prisoner in the basement. Please help me. Well, Leonora's note, but how did it get up here? Really good question. Now, I haven't been over to that floor either, have I? So, let's try the jump. off thanks that door doesn't open this one does get out of civilian civilian healing potion thank you for the builders sake I mean why why do they have to make all this noise couldn't they wait until tomorrow and call a blacksmith I'm sure that I won't be able to close my close an eye for the rest of the night there's no respect for one's neighbors nowadays Amos is not home yet I wonder what's the matter with him this time Fortunately, he's not involved with those mechanists anymore. I really didn't like those people. I've heard that their order was dissolved after the disaster at Soulforge. Hopefully, that's the last we'll see of them. You don't have any uh, a purse on you or anything, do you? Nope. Well, I'll just leave you sleeping there then. Let's see what's downstairs. Mechanist hideout key. A letter to Amos. Friend Amos, we have finally replaced the ventilation and shaft door with a more resistant iron one. Here is the key. Guard it carefully. As you know, all of our wealth is kept in that building. With the surviving acolyte support, we will re establish our order, and in spite of all the slanderous rumours which have been spread about us, we will come back stronger and more powerful than ever. As a reward for your devotion, you are being promoted from a single worker simple worker to a mechanist guard. From now on you are authorized to wear our glorious uniform during our secret reunions. Soon the day will come when you'll be able to do so openly. May Karis and the Builder forever be our guide, friend Augustine. Is this open? It looks like it should open. 
if it does, it'll be a hidden switch. Oh, that's diamond drill bit. Uh, let's turn the lights on, actually. So I can see what I'm doing. Shop key. So I can open the door to the front door of the shop now. And I can perhaps look for secret switches a bit better. And not get past. Yeah, only just. Well, given the constraint space, I can't complain too much about uh, awkward movement, I suppose. Like, that's clearly, uh, clearly opens, right? That would not just be, that would not exist. Yeah, secret switch. Just right there on the wall. Very secret. And I fell down. Yeah, well, never mind. I don't need to turn the lights back off yet. Lap. Oh, now we've got flash bombs. And two more water arrows. Okay. Oh, and some mud arrows. A bit late now. Uh, who knows? It might come in useful when I actually get to what's his face's place to steal his money. Right. Shop key. Oh, that's the shop, okay. Oh, I've got the tower shaft key too, sorry. Garrett. So I can just go up and down here. Oh, I can get to the basement. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, I've been to all three floors there, and now with the shower shaft key, I can actually finally reach the basement. Uh, that blood doesn't look good. Tower hatch. Or is that the roof hatch? To the ghost of all the uh, old master of the towers. Uh, all the women, women he had kept prisoner and tortured and killed down here, and who knows what else. I bet that needs a key that I don't have, right? That's not the basement key. Because this isn't where uh, this isn't Lord Witherdale. Oh, hello. I also need a key. Um, yeah. Can I see the book through here? No. Yes, maybe. I can. There. I just have to calm down. There's no reason to get upset. They will ask for a ransom. My family will pay it and I will be freed. I don't know where I am. It seems to be an old dungeon. I found this notebook under the bed. It has some pages missing, so maybe someone else was kept a prisoner down here before me. The people who took me must be a gang of criminals making money by kidnapping people. I'm starting to worry. No one came, not even to bring me some food, and I'm quite hungry. I wonder why they are treating me this way. What are their intentions? Still nothing. I'm desperate. Do they want me to die of starvation? I'm more and more hungry and it's cold here. A poisonous stench is coming from somewhere, maybe from the sewers. Oh lord, why are they doing this to me? Finally someone has come. An old man, saying that he is Ruskin, the Guardian. He brought me a piece of bread and nothing more. But the most worrying thing is that he was uncovered. I mean, he didn't try to hide his face in any way. I asked the reason for the forced fasting and he said that I needed to purify my body and my soul. Then I asked what was the amount of the ransom. Ransom, he replied. My master doesn't need your money. You are here for a more important reason. You will know it in due time. What can they want from me? This is turning into a nightmare. Some time has passed. One day, two, I can't tell. It seems that they want to break down my will, but why? What is their purpose? That man and his master, whoever he is, are crazy. Ruskin said that I was chosen to become his master's bride. Unbelievable. I tried to keep calm, and I asked him how his master could know if he likes me, since he doesn't even know me. 
Ruskin said that he used to come see me while I was sleeping. This made me shiver. Then he asked if I could dance. I said yes. So you will dance for my master, won't you? He said for, not with, my master. This is quite surreal. I keep on thinking that at some point I will wake up and all this will be ended. After much thought, I realized that my only way out is to agree to their plans. Once I have married this person, he can't keep me prisoner forever. Sooner or later, I will have a chance to escape. I told Rushkin that I wanted to make the acquaintance of his master. I also wrote a note asking for help. I hope I'll be able to give it to someone, or at least, with a bit of fortune, to throw it out a window. Ruskin returned, holding a white dress, and asked me to wear it. His master wants to see me in a wedding gown, he said. He will be back in a while. Good Lord, help me. I can't believe it. It can't be true. This is worse than my worst nightmare. I will never get out of here alive. That man is completely insane. I have to brace myself and try a desperate action, otherwise this dungeon will be my tomb. I hear him coming down. All was in vain. I almost can't bring myself to record what happened. I implored Ruskin to take me upstairs for a breath of fresh air. As soon as I was out of the cell, I grabbed a shovel that was standing in a corner and I hit him wildly as hard as I could. Incredibly, in spite of being wounded and bleeding, he managed to grab me and to throw me inside the cell again. Then he went away. He was so upset that he dropped a key while leaving. Maybe it could be the key to my safety, but, but no matter how hard I tried, I wasn't able to reach it. I don't know how much time has passed. Maybe Ruskin is dead. I feel weaker and weaker and I have lost any hope that someone will come to save me. I'm not even hungry anymore. I'm just sleepy. So sleepy. Alright, well we found Leonora. Uh, hopefully... Oops, wrong, wrong key. Hopefully the uh, blood that's on her gown there... Hopefully she's not dead yet and the blood on her gown is just Ruskin's. Uh, so... Now we at least we've solved the mystery of what happened to Ruskin. Um, and we've got the hat key to the tower hatch, so we can go to the top of the tower. I still haven't found the basement that I've got the key for. Gonna have to explore around outside the tower a little more. Tower hatch. Why are there two of them? Well, being a ghost is not going to be susceptible to gas, right? I think he's going to win this. Ah! Yep. I don't think that's the way to uh, to successfully deal with him. Hmm. You heard something. Tell you what. It's a bit too bright in here for my liking. I'm going to run and grab the golden skull and then run back down. How about that? How about that for plan? <laughs> now maybe he's got something else up there. But for the moment... I will uh, leave it at that. So what, what did I get? Yeah, I found Lord Balakin's Golden Skull. Okay. So that's Lord Balakin up there. Is he Ruskin's master? That he's still working for? Alright. Let's get back down to the street. So there's a couple of places I haven't yet been able to get into. One is... 
the... I haven't found the basement that I've got the key for. I haven't been able to get into the notary's house. And... I've got... I've used Alf's apartment key. I don't need that one anymore. I can leave it with her. Tower shaft key I've used. I don't think I need that anymore. What other keys? Lord of the Dale's basement, mechanist hideout. I haven't found either of those. Interesting. Um, what was a note about the mechanist hideout? Uh, did uh, oh right. Ventilation shaft door. All our wealth is kept in that wealth is kept in that building. Right, the ventilation shaft in the building over here. Wait, wait, wait. How do we get in there? Please don't hurt me. I don't intend to hurt you. Don't worry. Over here, he, he has a sword. Don't worry about my sword. My sword is for banners, not people. Right, so the door up top here must be the mechanist hideout. That explains what the metal floor, doesn't it? It must be mechanist. Keeping guard. Yep. What do you know? Well, now they've got five moss arrows. We should make use of some of them. Let's keep that door open just in case I need a quick getaway. Hmm. How do we get up there without him hearing me? It's nice and dark in that corner. Well, I can try this old trick of uh, shooting Mosser at the ceiling, have it drop onto the floor. Do another one here. That should be up the mantle up there. I'll be quiet. I just need to wait for him to come back. Uh, there's more Sarah's were of use after all. Sleep and give me your key. Oh, I don't think I can kill these banners, can I? No. Oh, wait. Only one of the chests opens with the key. Can I pick this one? I can, but the lock doesn't animate. That's odd. More gold. All right, we're at 1664 gold out of what 2500, 2550. We've got a whole lot more gold to find, and I thought I'd been over most of this place already. Interesting, interesting, and uh, definitely problematic for me. Good thing I didn't choose the expert, the harder expert difficulty, because 3200 loot. Where the hell would it all be hiding? There's nothing up this side, is there? That can be noisy now. Of course, there's all the jewels in uh, Lord of the Dales jewel collection. That's my primary objective. That's probably a lot of loot. Okay. Where does Lord of the Dale even live? I've not found his house. Let alone his basement. Right, how did I get in here? What's that? Hey, hey, is someone in here? Oh, from Alf's apartment, of course. You should, you should run away. It's a little Lord with the Dale's basement. I didn't try this door, did I? So it is. Um, you know, if you're meeting secretly with your lover, you probably shouldn't do it in the door just across the street from his flat. 
not very secret if you do that. Alright, there's a way up. Anything else on this level? So maybe this will actually get me to Lord of the Dale's house proper. Oops. Or maybe this is just his basement. There's your ring that you lost, okay. So, if that's Lord Witherdale's, how do I get, yeah, there's an open window up there, maybe I can get in from the tower higher up, I don't know, let's go up the tower again, find out, I'll have a look-see, and try not to kill myself jumping down that bloody shaft, whew, that could have been quite dangerous, well, that one's no good, let's try the next floor. No windows here at all. Coming out here doesn't really help me. Hmm, maybe I do have to defeat this uh, haunty person. How? Does he have windows that look out onto the other place? No. On the other hand, he does have uh, a wooden roof, I think. You can see me, but he can't get me. Oh, he has a key. He has another key. I probably need that key. Right, I'm gonna lock you up there again. You'll be stuck forever. Did you starve to death up there? Because of Ruskin? Or were you already dead? Oh, I don't have the tower. I don't have the tower hatch key anymore. Alright. So the key to the cells. So I guess we go back to the basement. How come I can still hear you? Right, shut up. Oh dear. These are the two women who were here previously. Quite dead. That is a shame. Whoops. No, I don't want to guess mine. Cells key. Well, Leonora, I will hmm, I'll leave you here for a moment. You are safe. Or s a lot safer at any rate than you were. A bit more, uh, well, tiny little bit, a few more comforts than the other two. But uh, no sign of any secrets or anything. Still have no idea where Lord Witherdale's uh, jewel collection would be. However, what's my objective here? Don't let her die by my hand. Set her free, take her with you when you leave the area. Okay. Yes? No. What, what is it? Nothing. Hello? All right, well, I have to take her with, her, with me when I leave the area, so I'll leave her there. So Lord Witherdale's jewel collection and lots of loot. That's all that's left. So his basement. Ma'am. I give up. Help. Ma'am, I just quiet, please. He's got an open window, but how do I get to the open window? Is that wood? I don't think that's wood, is it? I missed it. 
Oh, he's weird. Okay, let's put a rip out of there. And rip out doesn't really help me. I can't reach it. Ouch. I'm going to reload because without the rope arrow I can't do anything. Whoops. Didn't realize it saved while zoomed in. That's disorienting. So there's another beam on that side. That's also not going to help me. Well, I could potentially get to that one from this window. But that's not going to help me at all, is it? Well, I can try. I can go back up to that flat. Through here. That was that. Uh, which one was that? That was this one here, wasn't it? Out of the way, lane. Okay, so I can reach this rope. And from here, I really need another one. I can try jumping to the roof. I can sort of stand on the roof, okay. Can I come over the top? I cannot, and it's a little quiet on here, like I'm not supposed to be on here. I can stand here. No! Oh, that's bad. Uh, it's just like I need two rope arrows. Oh, I've got three. How did I get three? I thought I only had one. It's like I need two rope arrows, he says, as he discovers he has more than two. And misses his shot. Let's try that again. Nope, still too low. One. Two, all right. I think I can make that. I should really bring Alf and Blaine right down there and Show them both to her, but uh, I should really wouldn't care, would she? Up this ladder. Like lane out of the way. Okay, let's do some Tarzan work. Seems risky. Seems very risky. Didn't actually hurt me that much, which is a surprise. Okay, try it again. Rope to rope can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Hmm. It feels like I need more distance. I stand on the edge of this roof. No. Nah. I jump in the windowsill rather than off the window. Help, that doesn't help me. Uh, this has got to be the way, right? These are the only bits of wood, basically, for almost in the whole level. 
god, the what's his face is still angry. Can I reach that corner and mount a mantler? I think the answer is no. The answer seems to be no. How am I gonna do this? How am I going to do this? Not like that. Shh, quiet. So in theory, like from this roof, if I'm careful, I should be able to make the jump to somewhere, right? If I'm careful. If I'm lucky. There's no way, no place for third rope arrow, is there? Like at this window? So this is the obvious, it's come up here, but uh, I can't quite get over. Jump. Is this not a jump that's possible to make or something? Or is just my rib arrow on the wrong side of the beam and that means I can't quite reach it? Is it just that? Oh, I can just, just fucking reach it. All right. Let's save here, shall we? Yeah, I guess if I put it on the other side of the beam, it would have been slightly easier to touch and go on this side. Can I pick a lock? No, oh, he doesn't even have a high security lock for his jewel collection. That's a shame. A great shame. I guess I'll have to just take all his jewels then. And, uh. Lord of the Day, we'll just have to try and find some more. Another day. Don't know, man. Before I take his jewels, let's kill his banners. Alrighty. Jewels. And more jewels. And more jewels. Alright. We've got the objective of uh, stealing all his jewels. We have 25.50 loot. We can leave. We can uh, pick up Leonora again and set her free. Now, 31.14. So the expert loot goal was 3,200, which we are 86 short of. So I'm guessing we're still missing some loot somewhere. Quite possibly in uh, Mr. Whoops. What's that? Oh, that's alright. Hey, hey, no, 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 don't worry. Alright, got down without hurting myself. Let's rescue Lady Leonora and get out of here now that we have the tower. Now, now that we've uh, looted the tower and Lord Witherdale's jewels. Bye bye. Okay, stats, one hour, four minutes, uh, plus about 24 minutes worth of killing myself by mistake. There's a 38.44, we missed 700 loot somewhere, 730 exactly, and we missed two whole secrets. This is a fairly dense map then, that, uh, and that again, I thought I covered it all, but uh, clearly I missed a lot more than the 86 I thought I'd missed. Alright, that was the tower. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.